Hello and welcome to the show where every table tops a stage and we are merely players. I am, as always, your game master for this show, Austin Hayes, but with me as I'm recording this is absolutely no one. Remember, at the end of the last episode, I did a little post-recording sign-off because we split that session into two episodes, so this is the other end of that, launching back into that same session. Now, before I catch you up, even though I know you've been on pins and needles to know what's happening next, I do want to make sure that we introduced our cast. We have Max Aspen playing Sylvester X, Ollie Taus playing Jack Watts, Emily Sautel playing Imo Chen, and Jacob Caesar playing Marcus the Gorilla Fletcher. Now, as we left our heroes, they had just broken into the Games House, the central hub of a virtual reality world known as Albion, which had crashed for five whole seconds earlier that same New Year's Eve. The team, on a mission from V, the second-in-command of a seemingly seedy organization known as the Black Hand, are doing this job as a quid pro quo gig. If they get information on what happened with Albion, then V will give them information on Chloe Breck, a murdered computer programmer who had intel on a member of their party and ties to an underground group known as the Bloodline. So with that, we'll jump into the episode as the gang dives into the puzzle box world of the Games House. Well, I'll spit boss on them when we get there, I guess. That's before we start the Great, so you go inside. So, front doors are open. Um, I've got like I've got my um, like communications pad out and stuff, just like proper like yeah. chewing gum, just like oh, I don't give a shit. What's yeah, going so on? good. <laughs> this is horrifying. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, so you you walk in. The front doors are open. Uh, the lobby is. Uh, actually, rather small. Um, there's a like a security desk that's on uh, the sort of right hand side. Uh, it's all sort of like a marble tile, like white room uh, with like a white uh, security desk. It looks very plain and ordinary. There's lots of like abstract geometric art on the walls, all sort of black and white. Um, and then there's just like a the walls are sort of painted that like eggshell gross color or whatever, uh, like headache inducing. Um, and then there's like curtains drawn that you would like walk through to get into the building and you can see from there's like a shifting sort of light coming from in it and it is colorful and it seems to be uh greens and a little bit of blues um every once in a while it like shifts down to like a darker color that might be like a brown or a red hard to tell it's just you're sort of getting like like sort of the fireworks off of somebody's face almost like um that sort of thing so there's one security guard that's at the desk there's two security guards that are standing on either side of the curtain Security guard at the desk. Hello, can we help you? We are closed. I'm sorry, I'm not sure. We have we had to shut down earlier. We are closed for the evening. Sorry for any disturbance. Oh. Imogen, you said you'd call ahead. Tell them I'm coming. I attempted to, Mr. Crimson, but their servers were busy. So, uh, what's your name? I am, uh, I'm, I almost did an Android voice. <laughs> I'm, uh, uh Verdia. Uh, Verdia, uh, great to uh, meet you, I guess. Uh, I'm here to fix the big fuck-off problem you guys have. Uh, uh, great. Your boss fires, I don't know, what was it, 60 to 80% of your workforce just so they make room for me, but... Uh... Yeah, actually, we uh, we were just sort of hired on this evening. We, oh, uh, right. They, they sort of let go of everybody that was sort of working our positions beforehand, so... Um... Yeah, if you could just give me some, like, proof of identification. I don't have any records, and uh, sort of she, like, goes through the computer to, like, look and uh, just... Actually, give me a persuasion check with advantage. Yeah. Oh, no, good. just him, because you're helping him with that. Yeah. Not 20. For a 23. Fuck. Um... Of course, I just need a little bit of proof of identification before I let you in. We've. I mean, it's the, been a wild the time. Bright this evening, crimson feels, red hair. I, anybody can dye their hair. Uh, Does this just, look dyed to you? And I just like lean forward and just like look. Do I look like I've ever dyed my hair? If I have to, I have to bleach it first. And this is healthy, healthy hair. It's a natural, <laughs> natural. You're a healthy, healthy hippo. <laughs> <It's> a, <laughs> come on. How about this? I'll meet you halfway, say. All right. I'll have one of my guards escort you through the main chamber. Yeah, I just want to have a look. To the elevators. Once you're there, great. Deal? I mean, this sounds like you don't think we'll make it to the elevators, but I've walked before. (laughs) So. 
I just want to see you observed and make sure you know where you're, yeah. you're going where you're going. Fine. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Great. Uh, Archer, could you uh, follow? I mean, it's my first time here, so I don't exactly know where I'm going, but... See? We're here to help. Good. Uh, and one of the guards uh, sort of just holsters the gun, comes up. Right, yeah, uh... Right there. Right there. <laughs> right there, oh, you've, you've set that hey. down. <laughs> yeah, you've set that down. That's the best oh, attachments to God. I'm going to talk a lot to this guy. <laughs> <laughs> right, right uh, shall we? And he yeah, I guess. takes you through the curtains, and you walk into the main chamber. Uh, you are in a tall pillar of a, like a column of a room. Is a cylindrical room. Oh, sick. All around you are screens showing vast fields. It looks like, you know, the ads that are in um, Piccadilly Circus on the big screens yeah. that are like, it's very like that vibe, but it, you'll see like vast and rolling hills and fields with meadows. You'll see quaint village towns that look kind of medieval. You'll see like ships on the open sea, and then you'll see Albion. And then you'll see it, like, sort of replays again and through. Oh, uh, I try not to act surprised. I, like, keep trying to be like, yeah, okay, fine. Yeah, Roy, it gives me a bit of a headache, actually, if I'm being quite honest. Yeah, it's fine. The light's a lot when it's actual screens, you know? That's why you gotta um, get it straight to the source. I just point to my head. Yeah, I'm actually not big on any of this shit. I think it's a bit fucked up if you're gonna, like, <laughs> pump shit into your brain. Oh, uh, okay. Right this way, lad. Uh, and he sort of walks forward and clicks onto one of the screens, and it opens a door. And now you are backstage, as it were, and you just see the, like, what's the word? Scaffolding of uh, behind the screens. This is a place you could easily get lost. Uh, oh, shit. If you were on your own. Imagine you're recording, right? I'm recording. Cool. Sorry, just for security, and if I need to take anything back to my home computer, I've got all the data I need, okay? Right. Uh, is that okay for yourself to be recording? I forgot recording? who he was. That was my voice. <laughs> right? <laughs> right? That's so convincing. I've got through to the GM. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, Right, yeah, right. If, uh, yeah, absolutely. Okay. Uh, we gonna... can blur out your face if you want. Yes, that would be preferred. blurring. Oh yeah. I mean, I still you still yeah. got an okay face. It's not actually blurred your face in uh, real yeah, life. Cool, yeah. No, but when we revisit, kind of fucked me up there for a second. Gone. You did. <laughs> Shut up! I'm bad at accents. <laughs> <laughs> Love Scott. Uh, this is Archer. Um, so oh, he he takes you through. Uh, and you sort of up ladders around, sort of around, like following sort of a path. Uh, it feels like a maze, right? You're making, you're getting a vibe that this whole building is a puzzle. It's a game, right? Uh. It's the game's house. Uh, you can get lost on getting to work is part of the game. So did they actually lay off these people or did they just get lost in this fucking <laughs> yeah, so <they> just <laughs> <laughs> Honestly... I, th- I honestly, I think oh, sometimes. Oh yeah, shit! Uh, <laughs> no. Sorry, uh, uh, I got a cold, and for some reason, it makes me sound like I don't have a cold, but I have a cold. You know, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, sometimes you just hear people fucking t- walking around up here. Sometimes, and it's just it's haunted. This place is fucked up. The rooms changing. Believe I stay the fuck in. This place is haunted. Yeah. So there are like invisible ghosts walking around. I mean, the rooms. Sometimes people would like go into a room. So, sometimes people like go into a room and their voice changes. <laughs> and their voice changes. Uh, it does. <laughs> Fuck, I didn't expect you to talk to anybody. <laughs> you wanted and, us to kill them, didn't you? I didn't want you to talk to them. <laughs> um, uh, sometimes you go into a room and it's just you walk out and it's you're in a different fucking place. Oh uh, shit! Okay, I'll we'll uh, stick with you then. So he leads you through, and you get to the first floor. It's a balcony. <gasps> We've got a balcony. We've got a balcony. Yes. balcony. It doesn't show to the outside. Shut. It doesn't like go all the way sort of through. You see the back of the screens, right? But there's just sort of like a stone yeah. walkway that goes around sort of the center of the pillar, cylindrical okay. thing. Okay. You see that there is a door, uh, a uh, double, yeah, it's a double door 
uh, sort of off down if you followed it all the way at the end on the right. And then there is like an elevator door uh, sort of at the center point. Okay. Uh, I'm guessing that elevator door is the elevator. <laughs> yeah, that, that's the one. Yeah, I... Okay. Are you, you have, okay getting back? Do you have like a... Do you have a badge or anything? No, you, your friend, I forget his name, literally just let us in. Oh, Virgia, yeah, she, yeah, yes, sorry, of course, she didn't give you any badges, she, right, of sorry. course. Right, yeah, so, uh, uh well, yours? oh, I, you can't quite borrow mine because I'll need it, but I do have a spare, so oh, here you are. thanks. And you've I got a badge it. that could take you, and you can scan Thank that much. onto some doors. Cool. And you can, he's going to stand there and watch if you go onto the elevator. Oh, uh, yeah, okay. Are you ready to go? Ready. Awesome. Thanks. Uh, Cheers. I didn't catch your name. Uh, Ar- Arthur. Ar- Arthur. Arthur, yeah. Yeah, you're a big help. Yeah, of course. Go have you're a good drink from or something. It's New Year's Eve. Well, I'm still on, du- on duty for I won't tell. Hours. And I just walk off to the elevator. Great. Uh, he will. Yeah, he'll definitely just sort of make his way back okay. down. <laughs> so Got you it. are. Yeah. It was like, yeah, he's like, fuck it. You rolled in that 20. Sick. Um, <laughs> gotta respect in that 20. Um, so you're sort of at the elevator doors. There's the big double door at the end. I mean, I don't know about you. Which one do you want to go through? I think we should go through the elevator to begin with. Okay. I don't... What if we get to a place and they're like, oh my God, thank you, just in time. What the fuck do I do? <laughs> 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 it's like war games. <laughs> I guess, I mean, I'm, yeah. Uh, I'm okay with technology, but I'm no crimson. Okay, that's fine. No, no, well, neither am I. Right, I can try and help. Um, so, uh, maybe, okay, maybe the line is... Oh, I've got it. I've, okay, uh, yeah. I've, um, I've programmed everything I know into you, just yeah. for ease, because I don't want to get yeah, my hands yeah. dirty, okay? Because okay, I've got yeah. so many other things in my mind. So you're just go. going and do your thing, right? Yeah, but I mean... Okay, yes. Yeah, while we're, doing, do while we're talking, I'm just, like, scanning the door, being like, <laughs> oh, come on. Oh, great. So you <laughs> scan the door, it's... No one in the elevator. Try and check for invisible men. Yeah, <laughs> no, there's no one in there. There's no invisible cool. men. You walk in. If you go into the elevator, you walk into a platform. Uh, it looks as though the, everywhere else is dark. Like you're just standing on an elevated sort of hovering platform. Oh. It doesn't appear that there are walls, but it appears as though there is sort of endless black around you. Around the wall are. Uh, like little screens and little uh, pads where you swipe the badge at that have different um, of the floors <laughs> listed. There are several. It says on one side, going uh, sort of uh, clockwise, you have five game master's chambers, four play test floor two, three play test floor one, two main lobby, one. Nursery. B. What? Cradle. Away. Uh, I, 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 I think we should go to the nursery first. Okay. Uh, cradle. You choose. Nursery. You choose. C- cradle. Okay, you choose. Cradle. Whatever you cradle. choose, I'm with you. Cradle. Okay. Cradle. <laughs> On the cradle. You beep. On the cradle and start going down uh, into like the this. depths. We are going to cut back to the two of you. (laughs) So you have gone into the door on the right of the hallway and you exit through the door far in the hallway on the left. You are still in the same hallway. (laughs) I do that. I go, that's annoying. (laughs) Um, And then you see the two other doors there. So there's one double door on the end, one door that you came through, four doors on either side. Double doors. Great. You open the double doors, roll a d10. Yeah. One. (laughs) <laughs> you go through the double doors. Do you follow? Uh, follow. Great. So you both zhut, zhut, in through the double doors and you zhut, zhut, out the door you entered through. So you're now at the other side of the hallway. I hate this. Uh, I'm going to kill someone in a second. We're going to go back down and just shoot the place up. <laughs> what happens if we go through different doors at the same time? Nice. Let's do that. Sure. I'll go through the double doors. You run and go through this door. Okay. So okay. which door are you going through? So we're back at the fire exit door, right? Great, yeah. So you're at the fire exit door. Double doors in front of you and four doors on either side of the hallway. Cool. So I go run. I double go through doors. the double doors. Great. You go through, through, through the fire exit door. door. Great. This is full Scooby-Doo mechanics. Right? Both roll a, both roll of you, roll a d10. Let's see what's happening. Okay, eight. Eight. Two. 
two. So you come out the second door on the left, and you come out the first door that you went into. Wait, what door come out? So you come out, so there's the door that you come in, in the fire exit door, then there's the double doors ahead of you. You come in the second door on the left wall. You come in the fourth door closest to the fire exit on the right-hand wall. This is the first door that you went into. What'd you roll? I don't know what I'm saying anymore. I, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know where I am. I what, what did you roll? He rolled, rolled an, an eight. 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 And I'm coming out of the th- first door. So there's the four. There's One, four doors. Two, three, four. Door, d- door, little statues uh, yeah. on either side. I go. I go through the f- from the fire door. First door on the left. Yeah. First door. Okay. Roll the ten. Seven. Great. So you come out the one door. You come out the third door on the right. How many doors on the sides? Four on each. Four on each. <laughs> so you kind of have to roll it. Okay, hold on. Okay. So one, so oh, I might have been together. fucking up the numbers. Yeah, it should yeah. be ten. No, there should be ten doors altogether. Yeah. So I haven't been fucking up the numbers. No, yeah. Yeah. One, two, yeah. three, four, five, no, I, six, I, I, seven, eight. Yeah, so it starts nine, as nine, ten. one, two. Oh, I, I did fuck up the two, but. Okay. So you have to roll a D10 to get out. So. <laughs> I'm gonna try whatever door. <laughs> okay, uh, what? I'm gonna try again. No. Nine. Nine. We're not a nine, though. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> they're counting. <laughs> Five, six, seven, eight. Nine. No, you come out the ninth door. Whichever one that is, I've lost it for a second. Wait. Yes. How about, can you write down yeah. what doors are you, just so I can have in my head? What number doors we're talking about? Yeah, that sure. Correspond to your head. Yeah, sure. Give me your. It's a game. I th- I, th- I think it's like one of. The- <laughs> I'm like totally talking this out as I can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, think it's- I think it's one of the one of them games where uh, you you got a you-, you got marbles, right? Yeah, yeah, like yeah. Those two big big. I don't know what the game is called. Those two big ditches and those bunch of little divots in the sides, and then you- when you roll, you move all your marbles to the thing, and then it follows. I'm not explaining very well. Hey, man, I mean, you know what you're doing, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you and your bed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, rat. Yeah, stroke it. So, okay. I forgot to write down the other ones. But let's go. I'm going to go through door number nine. Mm. Great. Roll it again. Five. You come out the uh, last door on the left. So you come out of two. two. No, you no, come out of five. five. You come out of five. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay. I'm going to tell you this now. Whatever one you roll is the door you come out of. Oh. If that's been... Right. You come out the yeah. door that you roll. Okay, so I want to, go, want to roll a d6. Uh, if we come in at one... So there's... One is the fire. Six is the double doors. I think I said it was five earlier. That was my fault. Uh, six, is the, uh, six is the other the double doors in front of you. There's the four doors on either side and the statues next to the doors. There you go, six, nice. I guess you will have a door, I rolled a six. You, rolled, you come out to the double doors, you're now facing the fire door. <laughs> Sorry, yeah. it gets me so angry. God damn it. <laughs> Alright. Welcome to the next two hours of this podcast. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm going to go through door numbers, I'm going to go through double doors. <laughs> Great, go through, roll. Two. You come out the second, you come out the first door on the left. <laughs> I open all the doors. <laughs> cool. You open all the doors? Yeah. You're Here looking at the hallway. At from the hallway. All of the so doors. then I look, I do a perception check, please, on what on all the doors to see which way they're facing and the one that I need. Make a perception check. The one that check. looks like the other, the, not the hallway that we're in, that's the one I can go for. Make a perception yeah. check. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Come oh, on, mate. No, he's got hope. This is going to be a big fall. <laughs> Oh, it's 11. You enter into... <laughs> so that we're not here forever. It's over a 10. 10 was the DC that I set you. Because <sighs> I would like the rest of the game's house to be explored. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I will say, as you are in this hallway, it is trippy as hell looking into this. Yeah, because you're looking into a door. Into a door. And sometimes you're looking yeah. at yourself because it's like a funhouse mirror situation where if you're looking at yourself looking through another door and that door can come out and they'll like <laughs> flick through them. Yeah. Sometimes the door that's the double door is looking back at you. My next thing with would be a, to shoot a thing at with, myself. To see. At myself. <laughs> I shoot myself with, a, a door. with over a 10 on perception, you notice that one of 
the statues okay. is a little askew. <laughs> Always explore the statues, boys. D&D &D Rules 101. I said it like four times. <laughs> You also went, no, they're just kind of just pieces of art. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm not going to, like, give you the answer from the get-go. It doesn't matter, I won. Anyway. Uh, so, yeah, one of the statues is like, a my own. is, like, a little askew. All right, I go through door number eight. <laughs> one. Oh, come out the fire exit door. I'm so confused. You come out the fire exit door. I'm so confused. So one of the statues is askew. Yeah. Okay, mm. so I go up to that. Great. So as you like go, <laughs> as you go on, and you grab it, and you're <laughs> fucking mad, and you start to shake it, you realize that there's like a little small panel on the side that you press in, and it lock unlocks out, and a little slot opens, like a little drawer, and there's a little badge inside. <laughs> you suck. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> you lose. Sir. And it's Good day. Good day. like an identification badge, and there are all of the doors, sort of as they're like locking mechanisms, would have a place where you can beep, beep, scan a badge. Um, <laughs> that's cool. That's really neat. That's really cool. <laughs> okay. So, so we all have the same scan thing, so I just scan the first door. Which, which door would you like? Um, so where do they if come you, out? You can, so, yeah, uh, so you walked in this. through door one. Is Let's the go for number six. The one straight ahead? Yeah. Great. So you scan and... <laughs> opens up onto a stone sort of uh, balcony that sort of starts to curve hey, away. Hey, like, oh, hey, hey. <laughs> My hair is just like ripped out. I'm just like, oh, please say the guard is still there so we can have a little ghost. <laughs> I will, because we ran these at the same time, I want you, because well, you walked into the elevator, mm. I want to make a luck check whether or not you catch them going into the elevator. And it's going to be on an 11 or higher. You catch them on a 10 or lower. You do as not in see, we see them. Or as in you see them, catch like, them. No, no, no. Because it's sort of like you're down a hall. Like it's a curved sort of uh, hallway thing that you can see the elevator door. 11 or higher, you see them go in and door shut. Not in a time that you could like catch them because they did go in the elevator, but in a like, you know that they've gone into the elevator. And we chose okay. the floor. <laughs> yeah, you chose the floor. Um, this is just D20. Yeah, D20. 11 or higher. It's... Nice. Oh my god, you're so close with these. Well, <laughs> Jesus, skin of your teeth. You see, you see, well, you actually see Crimson and uh, Imogen <laughs> walking in and psh, the thing starts. Uh, the thing, the <laughs> elevator yeah. closes. Okay. Um, oh, did you I, actually get confused then? Is there a, is there a thing? <laughs> well, I guess I, I need that. I'll need that. No. All right, okay. There's not like okay. a thing that says one, two, three, yeah. four in it. Um, that would be way too easy. Yeah. <laughs> Jack, you alright? You saw something? Yeah, um, Crimson and Imogen just went downstairs and said, <laughs> Crimson? Yeah. That motherfucker. <laughs> I got fucking questions for that kid. I know. Oh, shit. And they said I couldn't even fucking ask his sister out. Now look at her. She's going <laughs> up with Crimson. I'm leaving. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> um, I put a little, can I put a little rope around him and like, attach it to me? Sure. Because I lost him in the, almost you, lost him with the door. You, you tie a rope around him and attach it to yourself? It's like one of those right. invisible dog It is truly a rope hanging in midair. <laughs> well, yeah. Like a last It's attached to him, so it, it couldn't be technically visible until it's, like, it's halfway. <laughs> it's got like a little woody rope. Yeah. Yeah. Because it's, not, it's because it's your equipment. It's not part of the yeah. things that got... Yeah, I, I, I think, I think How this would they just take a rope out and tie it around your way? <laughs> I think this is a bit counterintuitive for the fact that I am invisible right now. <laughs> I'll take it off okay. There's the 20 minutes of you trying to attach it to thin air, not know where he is. <laughs> okay, but bounce off the rope idea. It was just See, an idea. Right? You're really lucky. I've been rolling like shit for these guards. <laughs> is it, isn't one leaving in their direction? Yeah. No, 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 no. They leave the other way for, oh, for right. their luck. They're, they, yeah, no. Because the way that that sort of so labyrinth okay. loops itself up, it's this. over here down uh, that one hall yeah. okay so uh, um, should, should we get in that elevator uh, yes yeah, so was there I, mean, I, actually, know, I know this because I heard you guys talking on the other uh, section but is there a list of names did you say that's that? inside the elevator right okay you have a badge then. yes so we'll, uh, we'll beep we'll beep the badge on so the you elevator beep it. you beep, beep, beep. beep. Okay, let's see what uh, happens here. Make a scan, you, and tsh, elevator door opens <laughs> you walk in you walk into a uh, uh, like a floating sort of platform there it looks as though there is like endless dark on either sides uh you're just sort of on like a levitating sort of disc but on like sort of in the nothingness are like little light up signs that have five game master's chambers four play test i hit game master's chambers <laughs> <laughs> that's where i wanted to go <laughs> 
Oh. oh. Denied, effectively. Oh, okay, thank God there was an alarm. <laughs> no, just <laughs> once. Just a... Uh, so, four, playtest floor two. Try it again. Three... <laughs> Do you do that? No, no, no. <laughs> Three, playtest floor one, two, main lobby, one, nursery, B, cradle. Oof. Nursery. Okay, we, uh, we don't want to go to the lobby. Nah, you're in the lobby. You, yeah, you're seemingly in the lobby. Yeah. Nah. It's, it. two because it's, <laughs> it's two because it's up on a balcony. <gasps> I love a balcony. Yes. <laughs> do all of my buildings have balconies now? Yes. I don't know what I'm getting you for Christmas. Yes. So what was the one above? What Give was me a the, balcony. What was the one below games room? The top uh, one, sorry. There's play test floor two. Play, play test floor two. Play test floor two. Yeah. Not a, not not like a meal for two. <laughs> and a play test for two. <laughs> we are here to find a server information that was on that server or someone who can give us some information for a server. Yeah, so I had to talk to some children, talk to some baby. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm saying uh, I don't know the information is going to be down there. Yeah, I have a play test for two. <laughs> yeah. There good. are two of uh, So with an extremely weak temperament, we're going to go downstairs. We need to go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm going to play test for two, right? <laughs> okay. Let's do it. We go play test for two. Cool. <laughs> Oh, cool. So you. I look closer as it closes. I go, oh, it's floor. <laughs> <laughs> That'll be what the camera sees. <laughs> as, as the disc starts to psh up in the opposite direction of your friends, <laughs> we cut back to you two. You two went down to what floor? Cradle. cradle. You went down yeah. to cradle. Yeah. Incredible. Incredible. Uh, incredible. <laughs> incredible. So, you go down to Cradle. Okay, so, the disc <laughs> lowers down through the dark. You don't see really anything. You pass by one door that sort of stands floating in the nothingness, and then you pass past, you go past it, down lower, and you see another door that's sort of floating in the nothingness, oh and... Pss- Oh, uh, we go to the basement, right? <clears throat> I think we. No. I think we did. You walk out of the elevator. There's a small little ramp that goes down, and you are in a large, shortly, uh, shortly roomed, shortly roofed uh, room. So it's uh, it's it's a it's a squat room, yeah. right? Uh, there are vats of a liquid. Oh God! Just. All the way down, like dozens of large vats of liquid on either side of the room, sort of stacked several through. In a few of them off the bat, you can see a couple of people. Uh, In some, you see them in ones that are colored the same as the one that Crimson was in. Purple. Other one, there's like a purpley one. Yeah. The other ones are sort of a fluorescenty green color. Um, okay, they are really emitting bad. its own sort of light. There's no real light to this space. Otherwise, it has. Uh, they have like wires and stuff coming out of the tops of them. The ones that are green. Yeah. The, the ones that so are they green. Got masks on as well. Yeah, they do. Okay, they, so have mas- they have masks. They have uh, yeah. eye pieces. They have uh, hand pieces. Okay. They have all of the things. They are like jacked in. Theoretically, and like off the bat, you can see that there's like at least like two or three. Um, so you've got all of these like tubs of liquid, right? The ones that are green are like covered, and they have sort of wires that go up to the ceiling, and you yeah. see like all of the cabling run down the length of the room. At the back of the room is a large sort of crystalline sphere. That looks as though it's got, like, it looks like it has lightning trapped inside of it. It's got, like, a blue, like, electricity that, like, throughout it. It looks kind of like those balls that you Like, you touch, and it's, like, a little staticky, and it, like, goes to your fingers. It looks very much like that, but it's got, like, a blue electricity that dances around inside of it. Like, monitors or... Monitors, as in, like, computer monitors? There are no readout screens. Okay. Uh, okay. Sorry, I'm keeping his voice just in case anyone's listening in. I thought there would be infants in trouble. Yeah, why is really this called a fucking 
cradle. Oh. <laughs> People are in it and they're like in the cradle. Like a womb. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Or like a cradle. <laughs> Do you have to take on the intelligence of Crimson? No, he's fucking smart. <laughs> okay. If anything, Common I'm sense. doing him a disservice. <laughs> Can I call? <laughs> you want to call him? Can he take a call while I'm out? <laughs> You're in an elevator going up. Yeah. Yeah? Make, dun, dun, dun. make a call. That's the thing. Um... I'm doing the music in the elevator. I will. <laughs> I will say no. Actually, you can't make a call because you're about to go. Because the timing of the thing, you've now gone up already. So you're. They are landing. They would step out as you're getting just to the floor, like a little bit. Does that make sense? Who said that there's only one disc? <laughs> Terry Pratchett, but you, that's Karen. Right. This, what's the thing? Uh, Cameron's floating, floating disc or something? Tamsin, uh, no, no, it's a, uh, yeah, no, I, uh, yes, anyway. Um, uh, oh, Imogen, I've got no service in the basement. Sick, oh, that works for me. Fuck, I need to tell him that. Thing, that red hair guy's here. Do you think we should stick around here and see if anyone's around? Or I mean, we... these people are alive. They're I'm guessing. Alive. I don't know what this green shit is. I think that's just when they're not in use, maybe. But we can invest. We should look at that. Yeah, I'm gonna. I'd you do look at that. An investigation check. On yeah, make. Fluid. Yeah. And roughly, what percentage of these vats are, are you, filled? Are you both making a perception or making an investigation check, or are you helping one or the other? Uh, oh, is it aiding if I kind of have a look at? Actually, I'm kind of searching for different things. Great. So make your own. Yeah. Sixteen. Sixteen, and you are looking for what? Tell me. Um. What is this green? Liquid, like, what was the difference between it and the purple? It and the purple. Uh, so, from the outside, um, <laughs> hard to, like, tell if there's, like, a difference in viscosity in it. Um, they all sort of have, like, little, like, air bubbles or pockets or whatever. Because it's not water, right? Like, it's a little bit, like, jelly-ish in some... Like, it kind of like stuck to... Yeah, it kind of stuck to um, Crimson a little bit when he got out before he, like, dried himself off or whatever. So it's sort of, it, from the outside without touching it, hard to tell the difference in viscosity with that. Um, you do notice that these are almost more enforced, like reinforced rather. Uh, they look more structurally sound uh, than the ones that like the people are in. Right. You can think either there's something important about those or that um, the ones that people are in are so they could break out if need be like worst case scenario like right like break glass if emergency or whatever as you're going along you notice on the back of the panel or on the back of the thing is not a monitor so much as it is like an analog sort of like dial of numbers that are like rotating in binary like ones and zeros of data of some kind that's sort of just yeah. changing sort of all of the time on at least the one that you're on and it the like there are wires that run up and down and it seems that they all sort of converge on this thing in the back what were you looking for oh well, i was just going to look at the i was going to look at the bodies more closely to see if they are like healthy if that makes sense, or if they're, like, being drained or something. Oh, totally. Um, or if I could, I don't know if I could do both, but also kind of investigate that, the big orb sphere thing. I will let you... I rolled 22. For your investigation? Incredible. I will let the investigation go to the that, and if you want to make an insight check on the people. On the people? Okay, so... Yeah, the thing, the thing, the thing, the 12. They look fine. Okay. They don't look like they're dying. They don't look... Well, we're all dying. Right. They don't look like um, any worse for the wear than, say, Crimson. Um, oh, does that make sense? Like, yeah, I just look at myself. Yeah, right? Like... Uh, I guess, checks out. Like, uh, right. Like, they're not... These aren't, like, swole programmers. There are probably swole programmers out there. There are swole programmers out there. Um, but they are just average folks. Um, okay, cool. Sort of just in... And as you're, like, looking around, you're seeing that it's not all of the purple tanks. It's just... Some of them. Like, a lot of the staff got laid off. 
So, yes. right, mm -hmm. it's not that many people in. Or about 60% yeah. of these vats. <laughs> yeah, give or take 60%. Okay. Uh, yeah, there's a, yeah, there's a 60, <laughs> that was another 60 to 80% of them are sort of unfilled, if you will. Uh, 22 on investigation. Yeah. You go down to this thing. As you get closer to it, the hairs on your arms start to stand up a little bit. Oh, cool. Your hair starts to feel a little staticky. Oh, man. Uh, you feel not your heart start, start racing a bit more, but you feel like an energy surge, some sort of like a power that's just <sighs> there's something sort of big around here, right? All of the cables come down, and with a 22, I will say that you're able to like finagle into it, and so that I don't like. You see that there are places where you can put inputs into this mechanism, uh, oh. and you can get outputs from this mechanism. So you can, like, insert devices or export things <laughs> from this. Um, and it seems as though, with a 22, which is quite, quite good, especially for you with... Yeah, I'm really in character. Yeah. It seems as though the data from these vats is coming towards this and sort of being spread from there. Like it's, okay. this might be a source or this might be a source or those might be hard drives or liquid drives. What, the people? The vats. Oh, the vats. Oh, jeez. Uh, Imogen, what do you feel when you get close to this thing? Uh, I start walking towards it. You can feel the wiring in you start to... Not great. Doesn't feel Not good. good. I'd start walking back again. Great. Cool. Doesn't feel the best. And this is like a strong sort of energy. Make insight checks for me. Both of you. 14... <laughs> Not 20, baby! Ooh, As you walked up to it, it's not... It is powerful. It's not... Like, it won't kill you. It's not dissimilar to the way the air sort of changed when Jack force-choked a guy in an There's alleyway. else I was thinking. <laughs> okay. With that, we are going to jump up to the two of you. So, uh, as you get out your phone, uh, but mostly I was just thinking that the door would have to open for you yeah. to, like, do the thing. Uh, the door opens, and you went to playtest <coughs> two? Yes. For two. For two. Yes. Game test for two. Hi, we're here for the game uh, test for two. <laughs> there's only one of you. Cool. Yeah, there's one. I'm very excited. This better not be another fucking game thing. So as you... <laughs> You're getting all the puzzles, guys. <laughs> I get any more puzzles. So you <laughs> passed a door, sort of free-floating, and up to the second door. Once you get past the second door, you feel sweaty, hot for a second. Like, it's getting warm, and like, oh, like, oh, somebody turned the temperature up, like, a little bit too much, and the doors open, and flames shoot up for a quick moment, and then die, and then quickly go down. The room is warm, though. They went underneath the and doors. What? They, were they underneath the doors? No, no, no. They're in, so they're in the doorway, and they go, and then down. It's just a, like... And then you're looking into a circular chamber. You see a rock. From where you are in the elevator, you see a rock outcropping. Um, that's 20 feet tall or so. Uh, on the sort of left-hand side, it looks of, like, molten stone. The floor is old slabs of stone that's just, like, thrown together. It looks very much like an old castle. And you hear... <laughs> from the Sweet side pain. as Sweet you pain. see a long... You need to stop doing yourself, Harrison. <laughs> you see a hefty, <laughs> you see a, a girthy, scaled, reptilian tail 
swing down the molten stone. Dragon? Uh, I got time for a dragon. <laughs> <laughs> I just, I, I hit the closed door. <laughs> <laughs> okay, cool. Just nah, I'm, not, I'm not doing that. <laughs> Good so job. Sorry, like, okay. What's the next one? <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> it's going to be a hard, hard day. Hard day. <laughs> I love oh, the image okay. of you guys just like, like seeing fire <laughs> and a dragon be like, dope. <laughs> this That's is the wrong <laughs> See, in d d you don't have sliding doors, yeah. so you can't do that. You, you have to fucking run. But with this yeah. one, it's like, no, 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 press a button. Let's go back to the nursery. <laughs> yeah, okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Children you want, so yeah, you want, you want toddlers or babies? Uh, yeah, let's go to, uh, let's go down to the, um... You want playtest for one, guys? We're, are we still going to playtest for one? <laughs> there's playtest play floor one directly beneath you. Yeah, well, let's go. It goes back out. It can't be much worse. Exactly. <laughs> okay, cool. So you scan in for playtest floor one, you, psh, it gets cooler. Cool. Cooler immediately. Oh, no, ice flies up. There's an ice dragon. Uh, you, the door opens, and again, you are in a large stone chamber. Um, it looks to be um, less like slabs of stone and molten rock, and more like an anti chamber of like perhaps a dungeon uh, of sorts. Um, but it's sort of like well kept. Um, there's like ivy growing on the walls or whatever. Um, there's there's four large hexagonal pools uh, in the center of each of the room. Uh, in the center of the room. So there's like one, two, three, four, like laid out so that there's a, a center path. Um, you have a door uh, off to the sort of far right hand side. Mm-hmm. And then the four pools. You go in. <laughs> I can't, yeah, no, I looked yeah, him. I can't see him. Yeah. I, look the, I look for the rope. <laughs> <laughs> the rope's just through the door. The way the door's just closed. Oh, <laughs> dragon, dragon. Um, yes, okay. <laughs> Let's um, see that it's um, it's that door. You left him up there. <laughs> just, 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 just snapped, it's just Jack. flaming at the end. Jack! Of the Jack! Jack! Let go of the rope! Just put over the elevator doors to find my torso ripped off. Oh. That was in the Jack Watts. <laughs> Oh, uh, Christ alive! Right, I've thrown right. you into hell. I threw yeah. you into the game's house. Yeah. Um, uh, oh, yeah. oh, there's a door on the other side of the room. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But at least I poked my head in. Is there anything else besides the the, the pools and the door? Make a perception check. <laughs> Make a perception check. <laughs> Seventeen. Having to go to the DM for doing his job. <laughs> <laughs> tell me. Just tell me what's in the fucking room. Uh, Sixteen. I win. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I beat the room, okay? I'm good at the game. Look for statues, just like kicking over statues. <laughs> no, it's a pretty empty circular room. There's just one other door. There's no, like, security cameras or anything. It's just a room with four pools. Oh, God. It's just a standard room of four pools. <laughs> you want that door to lead upstairs? <laughs> Fuck into the gym <laughs> room. Oh, God. Oh, uh, God. Like, oh, is, is there any sort of, like, loose rock around? <laughs> You want to skim stones? <laughs> Match 20, yes. Amazing. There is a loose stone. Great. I'm going to pick it up and throw it in one of the pools. Nice. Great. Bloop. It's just, just bloop. Then it sinks down to the bottom. You look down at the bottom of the pool? Mm-hmm. Great. With those perception checks, you will see that each of the bottoms of the pools are covered in the skeletal remains of <laughs> humans, uh, with sort of tatters of clothes uh, and a few limbs here and there. Lift. Okay, about the limbs in the next one. This You want to go out of the nursery? Yeah. <laughs> Twenty baby dragons. All, all the floors. <laughs> Build out all these rooms and you're like, fuck all of it. It's too scary. Should have split up. Should not have split up. <laughs> um, so you go down to the nursery. Yeah. We'll cut back to the two of you. Oh my god. Do you think, Sylvester, that this blue 
Magic. Sorry, I just sat on Ollie's foot. Drowning. Um, could oh, not magic. Uh, electric could be something to do with what we saw Jack. Use. Yeah, I don't know, but it's making my hair stand on end. Are you able to take like uh, an energy reading of it or something? Do you have any means? Or if there's like an output, if you got like a, a, a hard drive or like a, a I don't know, flash drive. Putting- Sweet Pete, anywhere near this? No, no, I'm not saying. Uh, unless. <laughs> <laughs> just like trying to throw oh, it. What are you doing? Uh, <laughs> I can. Like a Henry Hoover <laughs> cable, just like. <laughs> no. Absolutely nothing. Uh, okay. Um, it, for, again, it won't kill you. For whatever that's worth. Like, it doesn't feel like it's going to kill you or, like, severely harm you. Like, it's not going to. Like, you might take, like,. A bits of damage, but not like you might, but like it's not going to like combust you or like fritz you. It just feels but strange. I why I need to go near it. Great. I was just letting you know that. Am I able to go touch it? What? For why? For why? I don't know. I've, uh, it's it's <laughs> fascinating to me. Okay. You want to touch it? Yeah, I want to touch it. I want to touch the butt. You <laughs> <laughs> touch the butt. Touch the butt. Okay. I go touch the butt. Oh, so you walk up, yeah. you put your hand on Sylvester, it. Sylvester, I don't think that's why. I don't know I don't what think you're saying. <laughs> Make a constitution save. Oh my god, just so the turtle from Nemo. Touch it. 20. Oh, <laughs> Not natural. 20 was the DC <laughs> that I set. <laughs> this 19 shit's plus 1. Heavy. You lay your hand on this? Hmm. You are, you feel human. You bleed. You breathe. You eat food. You had a taste bud where you had the cinnamon flavor and it started to light your mouth. But you know that you are an android of sorts. There are machinations in you of sorts somewhere. This power surges through you. You watch as Sylvester's yeah. eyes go blue. Mm-hmm. Very similar to how Jack was. With the correct save on a hard DC, I'm going to, after the game, offer you one of two at will force cantrips that you can take. Ooh, we have a good magic. Nice. For surviving. Uh, surviving? All you get <laughs> of you information, so. you don't get a vast amount of information. You aren't a storage device for data, right? Like, yeah, you are its own this, thing. Yeah. All you get is the word, not the word, the concept origin. And it feels massive. Not just the word, the entity. Jesus Christ! So after this, I'll I'll give you a couple of I'll give you a couple of options for yeah. for force cantrips or at will powers that you'll one of you'll take one of them uh, that you can use after this, but it'll take you some recovery. But you yeah. your hand drips off of it. You can't keep your hand on this. No. You aren't. You don't have the capacity to withstand sort of that level, and you don't even know how far back your memory goes. Actually, make me a <laughs> wisdom... Uh, make me a wisdom saving throw. Jesus. Why did you let me do that? <laughs> hey, you should have gone to fucking floor two. Seven. Great. You, as you pull your hand off... Don't make me lose my memory, mate. I'm not going to make you lose your okay. memory. Okay. That'd be fun. <laughs> that away. You, you see, and understand the entity the, that there is an entity of something origin, whatever the fuck that means. You get this that there is something big. Yeah. You get that it looks back at uh-huh. you, and in the looking back, you have an instant of flashes. 27 different rooms that you've walked into that you've never been in and it's gone you don't remember those uh, you remember that you had well, the memory but you don't about them. Nope. bullet 
<laughs> and you have to remove, and you feel very, yeah. very weak. I pull back, and you just see, like, the my arms kind of... The guys yeah. is dropping and kind of, you know, like, um... What is it? When the Polyjuice potion is wearing off, and it's just like, we're like... <laughs> I'm going to try and hold on to the form. Or at least bring it back if I can. That's a lot of fucking... Yeah, that's a lot of, lot of dice, that. You take... 10... Psychic damage. <laughs> cool. I'm still alive. I want to touch it. Yeah, no, I don't, I don't... I think we should get out of this... Room. I think you're right, Sylvester. Uh, Sweepy's like... <laughs> <laughs> No, I, for once I completely fucking agree. <laughs> I know, just, I'm going to go back to the lift. Yeah, so, I'm following him. With... Something, something, something went back and I don't know whether it was just one eye or all these eyes and I don't want these fuckers waking up or whatever that fucking shit was. So you're going to leave the inputs and the outputs? Yeah, second. I'm like after that I'm... Great. And you're going to not, are you going to not look at any, you've looked at the, the vats, you've, you're good with that? Feel good? Just want to make sure as you leave. I mean, I did a thingy, I, yeah. I looked. That's fine. Yeah, you're good. I just want to make sure that you're all... You told me things. I did. Great. So you head out. You go back to the lift. Doors open, and you step in. We cut, we cut back to the two of you, because didn't you say you were going to the nursery? Yeah, yeah. which is where they are, right? No, no they're in the cradle. Oh, no. Okay, well... That's you're just... You went to as top as you could, and it worked. La, 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 Yeah, like, let's try blood too. Cool, let's go to... Yeah, cool. Just a little power surge, like, lights dim. What the fuck's going on? As... The camera watches the doors close on Imogen and Sylvester. We see the we see the elevator doors open on just Jack alone because you're still invisible. <laughs> wipe, I hope. Yeah, as arguing with, with himself, uh, <laughs> arguing with himself in an elevator, and crying. <laughs> fucking eyebrows singed. <laughs> still miss smoke. Uh, smoke. smoke. I, I thought I thought this was a fun house. Like me, it's a fucking madhouse. You walk into a room. <sighs> what now? This is... Babies with swords. (laughs) Babies with swords. Uh, This is quite a large chamber. You thought that there were a lot of screens in V's office. This is ceiling, wall, floor screens. Bruce Wayne kind of stuff. The architect. You are walking along a narrow sort of bridge at the center, plugged in to sort of something that's maybe tucked away behind the screens. These are screens of all varying sizes. At the center, on a little little dais, because it's D&D. Dais. Love a little dais in the center of it. A little balcony. (laughs) Very good. It's a small structure, at the top of which is a small crystalline orb. With electric blue energy. We love our orbs. (laughs) So many orbs. (laughs) Is that, do I recognize that? You recognize the energy. <sighs> on the screens Touch in it. the room. <laughs> <laughs> on the screens in the room. Films from as far back as they make films. Newscastings of current events and uh, recent history and world wars and cold wars. There are CCTV camera streams of current United City. You see wards far in the north, far in the south, not just watching the central ward, but all across the United City. All of these different variations of input of intelligence or data or narrative. Um, scattered amongst these streams, you... Re- you you don't recognize, but the audience will rec- would recognize um, displays of rolling castles and medieval villages and Albion, Albion, ships sailing on open seas, Albion, this ex- extraordinary XR world, a mixed with all of the fiction and fact of the wealth of human history being ciphered into this little orb on the center <coughs> dais. Okay. Um. Press the elevator and get it. 
Um, yeah, okay. I think, I think we, we, we can handle this. I think, yeah, we can, we we can, can handle, handle this. this. We can do this one. We'll handle an orb. Yeah, okay, so, uh, yeah, wander in. Yeah? I'll wander over to the orb. <laughs> you feel the familiar. And for you, as you get closer, <laughs> a little bit of shimmer to your invisibility. I see you. It's like heat on asphalt. Oh, like a little shimmer. Little cool, shimmer. Cool band name, that. You know, asphalt. Shimmer asphalt. Uh, um, it feels powerful. Again, arms, uh, arms on your hair stand up. Hairs on your arms stand up. <laughs> hairs on the back of your neck stand up. You feel an enticing pull. <laughs> yeah. Um... Are you gonna touch that? Well, look, Marcus, I've done. I know. I've, I've, I've come across something like this before. So are you gonna touch it? <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, I, I, look. I, is it a bad? Is it a bad thing? Or yeah, I did before. I, uh, say I will say, for what it's worth, the thing that you saw before was sort of not spherical. It had the same energy pulsing through through it crystalline in a similar way um, less translucent this looks like it could be made out of glass right? You, what you saw was a little bit more opaque um, much smaller I mean this isn't very large this is uh, the size of a, like a large football or something like that um, I don't know how big a football is like yeah, a ball. Only, only the cool people touch the massive ones <laughs> <laughs> yeah. uh, what you had was handheld okay so it would require two hands. <laughs> well, you have those. Yeah, you got two hands. <laughs> I mean, yeah, you know what? I mean, ain't that how you got your uh, what, what you call it? Them, them guy coup powers? Yeah, pretty much. Hmm. Well, I guess that's something to do with it. Um, you know, I didn't die. You fucking hurt. And I'm still trying to work this thing out, and I can't really, I don't really have control over it when I use it. I wouldn't do more. More sounds dumb. You think so? I I think so. Why don't you touch it? Um, I don't know why I touch it. That's something that hurts. (laughs) That's something that shit hurts. (laughs) It hurt a lot? I choke it. (laughs) I, I want to, I want to grab it. Do it. Yeah. I go look. <laughs> if he wants to do it, <laughs> if he wants to die. It's clearly Jesus. throwing information. This is, clear, I think, this is something to do with what why we're here. Um, oh yeah, we're supposed to, we're, on, we're on a mission. Yeah, <laughs> I was having this existential crisis. We're we're while ago, I kind of forgot everything. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Um. I okay. I yeah. I walk over to it. Am yeah. I, where, how close am I to this thing? Am I sorry? How close am I to this thing? I mean, so depending where you wanted to stop, you probably from like me to the the. The wall, which is a little bit more than twelve feet. Yeah. Um, um, as I'm walking towards this, does it get? Does this feeling get stronger? Like, what am I feeling? Is it painful? Does it hurt? It doesn't hurt you. It doesn't hurt. Well, it feels <clears throat> like your heart feels weird. Your cybernetics and your eyes and your arms start to freak. You can see the nanites start to move around on your arm. Yeah, I don't like this. For you, it feels quieting at times and then you'll feel it static up your neck a little bit or you'll feel it static in the back of your brain a little bit and you sort of it feels as if maybe electricity sort of had a hand and was just sort of cupping the back of your neck Mm. okay I'm gonna yeah I'm out (laughs) I get it I get it it's fine it's fine um, doesn't hurt. The only thing I could th- think of, the reason I'm looking is because I'm, I'm quite proficient in sort of uh, sleight of hand and that kind of stuff, so maybe if that's going to help me, but yeah, I'd like to, I think I'm a person. Y- y- you ain't going to tell me, man. No, I'm not going to tell you. <laughs> I think I am going to walk, so I walk over to this thing, yep. and I'm, I'm, I'm trying to find the feeling of what it feels like when that, when this whatever it is comes over me and I'm able to use these powers and, um, you know, uh, what the trying, trying to, trying to sort of embody what that feels like as I'm walking over to this thing. And then I, 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 I concentrate real hard and I put both hands on it. Would you like to dump any force points into it? Um, who would be silly enough to do that? Mm. I can tell you that 
If you dump force points into it, I'll give you a little bit of... I have five to burn. Okay. You want to dump some more? And I'm either going to die or going to need a long rest after this, so fuck it. Five. (gasps) (laughs) Five force points. As much as I can. (laughs) Both hands on this fucking glowing thing. You've You've reduced the DC by five. And since you've already done this before, I will give you advantage on the con save. Okay. It's a con save 15. Okay, so what oh, am I rolling? Oh, same DC. Oh, okay. What am I rolling? Oh, you're going to roll a constitution save. You're going to roll it's twice, take the higher. Yeah. It's a, you got to beat a 15. Oh. Okay. Advantage, you said? Advantage. Because you've done it before. And then I add my... Constitution Oh, yeah, so... 22. Well done. You put your hands on it. Yeah. You feel your skeleton, which you saw outside of your body, you feel it inside you, sort of alight with the energy that's sort of flowing through you. And you feel and understand the concept of origin. And you feel it looking back at you. Now, I want you to make a wisdom saving throw. Um, that's a 15. Mm-hmm. So, the wisdom saving throw was not for the power. So what, you don't know this, but what Sylvester was feeling and he had to con save against was the energy, so, the power source that could kill you. Right. It is an immense amount of power, Right. The wisdom save is against origin. So, you failed. Something happened there. Failed. (gasps) Jack. You. You you have, in the way that we reminisce and we remember things, and you sort of seamlessly just uh, string your memories together. You have memories of running around a medieval village or a castle, uh, playing with children and adults. You are both a child at times and an adult at times. You are man, woman, neither, both. You are all sorts of different things. You've gone on adventures. You've gone on quests. You've fought dragons. (laughs) <laughs> Not today. <laughs> you stop. And then you remember being out on the open sea, and you were a captain, and you were a privateer, or you were a stowaway on a ship. You were a spice merchant making your way across the continents, and you lived several lives on these ships and on the open sea. You feel progress, you feel growth. You know that you are in the game, Albion, in these memories. Yeah. Marcus, (laughs) as Jack has his hands, he lets go. Jack turns around and looks at you. And Jack says, what is this place? (gasps) Oh, that's not good. What's your name? Uh, Marcus. Jack. You know me. Jack. Jack. You hear as you're soaring over skies and, like, fighter planes, and you can see, like, war-torn countries beneath you. You're in a different game now. You hear, Jack. Jack. Interesting, Jack. My little shadow Jack. <laughs> and that's where we're going to oh, end this yeah! episode. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. Thank you all so much. Join us over uh, on our Patreon at patreon.com slash merely players for our behind the board talk show. Uh, and also follow us on Instagram at merely players TTRPG. And thank you all so much. Have a wonderful Bye. evening, Bye. night, morning, whenever it is. <laughs> All the various goodbyes. (laughs) Why do we have to wait like a month?